Hello everybody, welcome to the 31st Xamarin Android tutorial. So in the last video what we did was we set up two activities and I displayed how to transition between those two activities using an intent. Okay. Now in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be overriding the the way that the two end transitions animate. Okay. So the default behavior is to have the first activity fade out and the second activity fade in, okay? But there are ways to specify our own animations so that we can give our application a unique fill, okay? And in this case, what we're doing is when we hit the login button, the, the, this activity will, will be forced down and then the second activity will come up, will come down from the top, okay? So here's an explanation, or here's an example of this right here. So notice that the second activity is given the effect of pushing it, pushing the first activity down. Okay, and that is a custom animation which we'll which we'll go over right now. So before we do that though, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, we're gonna override the pending transition, but we're going to do it with a built-in animation that Android provides, and then we will specify our custom animation that's going to look like this. Okay, guys? So let's go ahead and get started on that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to override the pending transition, okay? And just to recap from the last video, remember we have two activities. Here's our second and our first. And what's going to, what's happening is an intent is started from the first activity, this one. And it's saying type of activity two, which remember activity two is a C sharp class which sets its content of activity to layout, which is right here. And then it starts the activity, okay, which which transitions between the first activity to the second one, activity two. Okay, so what we want to do is you want to specify a to, to override the transition that's pending. Okay, so notice that we what what the override pending transition method takes is two parameters. A a enter animation and an exit animation and the enter animation applies to the activity that is that is entering in so the second activity in this case okay and then the second parameter exit animation applies to the activity that's calling it which is main activity so this is the animation that's played when it exits and then enter animation is the animation that plays as activity 2 enters okay so all it wants is for some resources okay and like I said we're gonna use some built-in resources first just to get, the, get just to get used to using override pending transition, and then we will specify our own XML and then hook it up to that. Okay, so we'll want to do an enter in for the second animation, or I'm sorry, activity slide in left. Okay, so it's gonna the activity two is gonna slide in from the left, and then the main activity, which is the one calling it, is gonna slide out to the right. Okay. Alrighty, and that's really all that it takes right there, okay? So let's go ahead and run this and make sure that the first activity is sliding out to the right, and then the second activity that's being called is sliding in from the left, okay? So it's gonna give it the effect of, of the pushing of the two activities, okay? And it looks like we have an error here, which is object reference not set to an instance of an object for the button. And sometimes this happens with Xamarin which, and there's no really good reason why, because obviously we do set a instance of it right here. So if you do see that and you're not really sure why, go ahead and do a rebuild. And most of the time that will fix your problem, okay? So if you ever see that, just do a rebuild and then go ahead and try again. And hopefully that will fix your problem, okay? All right, so now, like I said before, the activity two should push from the left and then the, this activity should leave to the right, okay? And there you have it. All right, so that looks like that's working pretty good. But you know, what if you wanna specify your own animation, something that's more custom and it makes your application look a little more unique, okay? And the way to do that, fortunately, is actually really easy. It's, it's all it's using is a transition or a translate that's specified in the in an XML file, okay? Like, so we've done XML animations before with like the card flip and a few other things. And here it's really no different, okay? 
So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a folder called anim to hold my animations. And then inside of my animation folder, I'm going to go ahead and create two XML files. Okay. So I'm going to create one that's called slide in top. And this is going to be the one for the second activity. Okay. Cause it's going to slide in from the top and then finally my exit animation for my calling activity, which is main activity in our case is going to be slide out bottom. Okay guys. So let's go ahead and go into slide in. Let's look at this naming got a little messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into slide in top dot XML. Get rid of that L. And we're going to specify a translate. Okay. And the translate is going to be with respect to the Y axis. Okay. So first let's go ahead and specify our namespace, just like we do for all the other XML files. And I will close it off this. Okay. So now all we need is a few properties to be set. Okay. So the duration of the animation is going to be 500 milliseconds. Okay. So half a second, and then we need to specify the from Y property. Okay. So from Y Delta equals negative 100%. And if that doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that means. Okay. So, when we're talking about the starting, whenever we're talking about a value, we're talking about the very top of the activity. Okay. So the very top is the top right here. Okay. So we want this part, the very, the top of the activity in our case to be at negative 100%. Okay. So essentially we want it to be, we want the top to be at twice as high or as a, a full activity length higher than the first activity, the, the, the activity that's on the screen right now. Okay. So in that case, we basically want to just kind of try to visualize this activity as being on top of the screen, which obviously isn't visible, but it's kind of residing on the top. Okay. So this part is at negative 100% and this part is at zero. Okay. Which remember in our activity. So this, if this, activity is the, the main one right here, this will be zero. This will be a 100%, right? So this is zero Y. This is a 100% or all of the screen. Okay. Where this one is going to be right here, down here is going to be at zero. So it's going to be resting on top of this activity. And then of course, because we're, because when we specify a value, we're speaking of the top of the activity, or if it was an X, we'd be speaking of the left of it. This is going to be at a negative 100%. Okay. So I hope that makes sense to you. And that being said, let's go ahead and go back to our XML. Okay. So we want the top of the activity to, to start at negative 100%. Okay. And we want it to go to Y Delta. So to Y Delta to zero. Okay. And once again, we're speaking of the top of the activity to go to zero. So we wanted to start from negative 100. Imagine the phone, the top of the phone is right here. So this is resting on top of the phone. So we want it to be from negative 100. You want it to scroll all the way down to zero, therefore giving the effect of coming down. Okay. And the last thing we want to specify is an interpolator, which fortunately we can use the built-in one. Simply do at Android anim slash accelerate interpolator. Okay. So that's going to be our enter in animation for the activity that's being called in our case, activity two. Now to make things simple and to save some time, we're going to go ahead and then copy and paste this over to the slide out bottom and simply change some of the values. Okay. So now this one is going to be, we can picture this is going to be the animation. That's the activity that's already there and leaving the screen. 
So we want it to start, it's gonna be from zero, which is where it's already at. Okay, so from zero to 100%, which again, we're speaking of the top, of the very top of the, of the activity, okay? So that's this one. So from zero to 100%, we want the top to be at 100% of the screen, which is at the bottom, therefore giving the effect of coming down and becoming invisible, okay? And that's all that we needed to change there. So let's go ahead and save those two and rebuild it. Now we can come into our main activity and we still want to use override pending transition. However, now we have our own custom animations, so we don't need the built-in one. So how to reference those is resource dot animation, and it'll pull up our two animations that we've built. Okay. So we want the enter animation to be slide in top. Okay. So it's going to slide in from the top. And we want the exiting animation for this activity, the main activity, the one that's calling it to be slide out bottom. Okay, so it's gonna slide out to the bottom of the of the phone, okay? All right, so that being said, we should get the animation that we looked at earlier in this, in this video. We should have the effect of the activity two coming down and dropping on top and pushing down the first activity, okay? Awesome. Okay. And we do look like we do have, it's not, it's coming down, but this one's, this one's not going down very much. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what's going on there. Okay. All right. So we have a slide in top slide in bottom. Let's go ahead and go back to the slide out bottom. And let's try to see what's, what's going on here. And my guess would be the problem is that we didn't specify a percent. Okay, so I did left, leave that out. And let's go ahead and make sure that that fixed that problem, okay? All right. So hopefully now the, the first activity, the one that's calling it our main activity should slide from zero to 100% and away from and out of the screen focus. Okay, so there it goes. All right, so there you have it, guys. Now, with this, with these two files, you can now, you know, manipulate maybe an X and a Y, or you can do even some other stuff like an object animator and start doing some flips and uh, doing a lot of other cool stuff that, like, you know, that we did in the card flip and in the cards animation, like, you know, to flip a card and to bring it in to focus in different ways, okay? So this is hopefully... Uh, helpful to get you guys started in the right direction to making your own custom animations for transition between two activities. Okay. So as always, thanks for watching guys.